be sure and tell Patty that she's up to Annie on the operatory units. <laughs> Pastor John is going to bring us uh, the special uh, story time. Now's oh, little children's.
tail out. What do you think happened? I think, I think that the car ran over the dog, because that's usually what would happen, right? So guess what? The worst possible scene met their eyes. Julie's precious dog was pinned under the car's rear tire. Her beautiful dress was covered with mud, and her chest was pressed, uh, pressed flat. Now look at what you've done, Julie yelled. I'll never forgive you. I won't, I won't, and I don't ever want to play with you again. You're not my friend, and I wish you weren't my sister. Julie began to cry inconsolably. So how do you feel when somebody hurts you badly? Usually you feel so bad you just wish you could hurt that person back, just like they hurt you. You don't want anything to do with them, and there doesn't seem to be any way you could ever be friends again. Now, you guys, do you think that just happens with kids, or do you think it happens with these adults in the back? It just happens to the kids, right? <laughs> but God has provided a way for us to heal the hurts between us. The Bible teaches us how Christians live in relationship with one another. Human beings will hurt each other because of their sinfulness. But the Bible teaches us to say that we are sorry when we have done things that are wrong. And Jesus helps us to forgive one another even when we have hurt each other very badly and very deeply. Saying we're sorry and forgiving one another is hard, and it doesn't happen fast. But it is God's plan for helping us to live together as His family. So at first, Janet was so mad at Julie, she didn't want to say she was sorry. But after a while, she began to feel very badly about what she had done. It would be hard to admit she had done wrong. Maybe Julie wouldn't want to be her friend anymore. Then Janet had an idea. She would give Julie her favorite doll with the real hair and her baby bottle. It was the only way she could think of to show how sorry she was. Meanwhile, Julie was so upset about her broken doll that all she could think about was getting back at Janet. She knew what she would do. She would sneak into her room and rip the hair out of her doll's head and stomp on her baby bottle with her foot. A little part of her was worried she'd miss Janet as a friend, but right now she didn't care. So quietly she opened Janet's bedroom door. Oh, Janet, I didn't know you were here. She cried out in surprise. Her plan would just have to wait, she thought to herself. Imagine her surprise when Janet invited her into her room and told her, I'm really sorry I dropped your doll out of the window and she got run over. Mom says there's nothing that can be done to fix her up, so I want you to have my doll with the real hair and the baby bottle. Here, she's yours now. <coughs> Julie just looked at her friend. She thought about her plan to stomp on the baby bottle and pull out the doll's beautiful hair. She goes, I'm sorry too for wanting to get you back. I can't take your favorite doll, but we can share her. I tell you what, let's play like we're teachers and all of our dolls are our students. Do you want to? One thing was sure, Janet never wanted to hurt Julie like that again. Saying you're sorry and forgiving can make it possible for friends and family who hurt each other to come back together and live together happily again. It's God's special gift to his family on earth. He was the first to forgive, and when we live, or when he lives in our hearts, his love makes it possible for us to say we're sorry and to forgive each other. It's a gift you'll want to pass on in your family and amongst your friends. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay. Is it hard or easy to forgive? What is that? Have you ever had to forgive somebody who really hurt you? Sometimes, sometimes this can be a very hard thing, but that's what Jesus does for us. He'll allow us to be able to forgive and be forgiven. That's why our heads will have prayer today. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. I thank you for these children who are here. I pray your blessings upon them, and I pray that they'll love you with all their hearts throughout their entire lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, go back to your seats.